Asset Tracking Anywhere, or ATA, is an extensible online interface designed for tracking assets. It provides a holistic view of each item that is important to your organization and provides instant feedback for optimal operations management from anywhere. For large and small operations alike, ATA plays an integral part in asset tracking, capital and operational cost reduction, project management, asset life extension, utility and asset value optimization. ATA is designed for every level of operations management and is able to give a quick snapshot of unlimited assets anywhere in the world instantly over the web based on the user's role and position. This tutorial will quickly demonstrate how to use the Asset Tracking Anywhere software product. First, let's log in. Logging into the system provides mutual authentication by identifying the user. During login, tracking credentials are simultaneously tracking the user's IP, DNS, duration, and changes to the system. It also remembers the user's username and password. For this tutorial, we will log in under the administration mode for sample user Fernando Kimbrell. Finding assets in ATA is simple. Under the Asset tab, click the Edit icon to change attributes of an existing asset, or click the plus button to create a new asset type. A box will appear below the assets to set the permissions of this new asset type. There are a number of different ways to look at assets within the system, the map, the asset browser, and the search feature. Let's take a look at the asset browser, which refers back to the org units, the assets, and asset details. For example, in this central region, click on one of the assets and the asset details will appear. The asset can be added to the results list, reports list, or to the watch list if there is a compliant management that will occur with this asset. The asset information can be viewed in detail which will bring up the metadata, or the asset can be viewed on the map. The map will appear with the asset and will show exactly where it is pinning the asset's location on the map. To view an asset's details directly from the map, click the Assets Map pin to access the Quick View details. Click More Information and ATA will go directly to the asset's full metadata page. The maps in ATA provide a module for navigating analysis and visualization. This module displays all the geo-referenced information including site plans, area photographs, marine and terrestrial assets, and surrounding data on the web map. The ATA mapping module supports most mapping engines interchangeably in real time. This includes Microsoft Virtual Earth, Google Maps, Yahoo Maps, or ESRI, as well as OpenStreetMaps and NASA Blue Marble. Click the desired mapping provider to view different mapping engines. ESRI, for example, has been done in a different mapping projection. Note that the asset points are placed in correct latitude and longitude for each mapping engine. Map layer overlays are used to outline specific areas on the map. In this tutorial, we display BC electoral districts, BC school districts, BC regional districts, and BC college regions. If the outline colors are not exactly correct, the map overlay color picker can easily and quickly change colors on the fly. Switching to Google, the asset projections remain in the proper latitude and longitude. The system is flexible, so flipping to the aerial view on the map will keep the layers positioned correctly. Adding an asset is easy in ATA. Click the plus button at the top of the menu, then click the location on the map for the new asset. Click the save button from the detail panel at the bottom of the screen to save the asset pin and go to the metadata page for that asset. This page can be extensive. For demonstration purposes, a simple form is displayed. Fill in the initial details, set the asset type and org unit. The asset can be moved by nudging the latitude and longitude. Once the asset details are saved, it can be associated with an alert. The alert will come with a description, a level of importance, and a date that it has to send an email. And it will turn red or yellow on the map, supplying a visual identification of where the asset is located. The alert will also appear in the alerts list on the right panel. To access an asset quickly, click the hourglass icon to navigate directly to the asset on the map. Notice an alert icon will show yellow or red depending on the level of importance set to that alert. If the time slider up at the top is moved, the alerts on the map will change depending on the alert dates. This way, alerts can also be used for predictive modeling. If the time slider is moved ahead a month, the alerts for that month will appear and the previous month's alerts will disappear. To locate an area on the map by name or address, select the geolocator and type in a desired location. 
The map will then jump to the location, highlight the area with the flag, and allow the location to be added as an asset. From the initial pop-up that appears, select the asset type using the drop-down box and click the Add button to add the asset to ATA. This will take you to the metadata page to fill in the remaining asset details. Once saved, the alert box will appear, allowing this asset to be set with an upcoming alert. There are a number of different ways of finding assets on the map. One is panning around using the Pan Map Hand icon or using the Asset Browser link at the top. The third option is to use the ATA search engine. To search for an asset, simply type in the asset name or asset details in the search box at the top, then press Enter. The system will send the search term to the server and the server will send the corresponding information back. A list of assets will appear below the search box. Click the magnifying glass to view the asset's point in space. If more information on the asset is required, click on the eye icon and it will display the metadata associated with that asset. There are some extensive forms used to describe assets. Often these forms are a number of pages long and they are used to track everything about that particular asset as well as part of system reporting. Depending on the logged in user permissions, a number of search results may appear. All alerts signed to the user will appear and will be color-coded based on their importance, making them easy to see on the map. The user can also watch many assets, so if the user is assigned a number of assets and would like to watch only certain assets, the user can drag the assets to the watch list area. The assets will automatically be assigned to that user. The user can go and look at those assets and can also click on the eye for more information about the asset at any time. The user can now be in constant contact with those particular assets and is able to track what they are doing and the information coming back and forth, whether or not the asset will be in compliance or out of compliance. The alerts will also be sent to this user accordingly. The user can also report on these assets by copying all the assets to the report list. Doing this enables the user to report out on that list. Click the Run Report button to create a report based on the assets from that list. ATA will ask if the user would like to open the report in Acrobat or to save the PDF to a file. ATA will auto-convert the list to a PDF and then open the report. A short list of the asset information will be placed into the report. The reports can look very simple or they can look like detailed government forms. We can report on anything as long as the metadata is stored within the application. Thank you for viewing this tutorial on our Asset Tracking Anywhere software product.